Hi there. There's been a good deal of talk recently regarding this U.S. spy satellite that has a decaying orbit and will fall to Earth sometime before the end of the year if left unattended. Uh, recently the decision has been made to try to shoot it down so that we know exactly when and where it will fall instead of letting it do so at random. One question that always seems to come up in these cases though with anything in space that has basically become just a piece of trash is why not send it into the sun? In fact a lot of people wonder why not do this with all the garbage that we have here on Earth? Send it into the biggest incinerator that there is in the solar system and just get rid of it. So what I want to look at today is why this isn't really a feasible idea. Here's the inner part of the solar system. Heading out from the Sun we have Mercury, then Venus, then Earth, our home, uh, followed by Mars. And one thing that sh should be the, the most important thing to remember here is that all of these planets are moving. In fact, Earth itself is cruising around the Sun at about 30 kilometers a second or for those of us who are still without the metric system, 18 miles a second. So you see where you are right now? Right, 18 miles away from where you were one second ago relative to the sun. So the thing is, to get anything into the sun, you have to stop it from moving. So all of this velocity, all this momentum that any bit of trash or the satellite or, or whatever have you would have, you have to counteract that. So if you put a rocket up there, you have to fire it until it's moving at 30 kilometers per second in the opposite direction relative to the Earth. So the 30 kilometers a second of the Earth's motion countered by the 30 kilometers a second of what the rocket does with the trash uh, equals zero then. And at that point the trash can fall into the Sun. Just for comparison though, to get an object completely outside of Earth's gravitational field, you only have to get it up to 11 kilometers a second, about seven miles a second. When we went to the moon, they only had to get as fast as seven miles per second. So what we're talking about here as far as the change in energy goes, it's almost three times the velocity, so it's almost nine times as much energy to get something into the sun as opposed to just get it out of Earth's gravitational field. So that's an awful lot of energy when you consider how much energy had to go into like the Saturn V launches. One other potential problem is that you might actually miss if you're sending something at the sun. And you might think, how can you miss? The sun is huge, it's got all this gravity, wouldn't it just pull everything in? Well, the problem is, yeah, it'll, it'll pull it in, but if it still has some velocity that would have it go around the sun instead of into the sun, then it just turns into this object that orbits between the sun and the earth. Uh, and we still have a chance of hitting it then. To give you some idea though of the size difference here, all right, imagine that CD there, it's actually a CD of Gustav Holst's The Planets. Uh, imagine that's the Sun. And if you see this pen here, all right, I don't want you to think about the pen, I want you to think about the ball at the top of the ballpoint pen. That's about the size of the Earth. It should take 109 Earths to go across the face of the Sun. All right, so there's the relative sizes that, that we're dealing with here between the Earth and the Sun. Yeah, the Earth is absolutely tiny compared to the, the size of the Sun. But now, if you have these items handy, take your CD and your ballpoint pen and place them about roughly 33 feet apart. 30, eh, 33, 32 feet apart. Or if you're someplace that is like most of the, the world and has a metric system, place them 10.7 meters apart. This will show you the kind of distance that exists between the Sun and the Earth and their relative sizes. Uh, another way to think of it is if you put the Sun on the goal line of a, an American football field and you put the Earth at you know, just about the 10 yard line, that gives you the relative sizes and distances if the CD here is the Sun and the ball and the ballpoint pen is the Earth. Now do you see how you could possibly miss? While the, uh, the amount of waste that we're generating here on this planet 
is, is a huge problem, and we do need some kind of creative solution. Um, anything that we're going to have to come up with that will be feasible will involve using the little bit of space here that's around the Earth.